Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Tonight's video presentation is going to be a tutorial about installing Proxmox 7. This tutorial is meant to cover the installation process, as the processes of creating your bootable USB drive vary so much depending on the operating system you're using, as well as the process of configuring your BIOS varies heavily depending on the manufacturer of your BIOS or motherboard. So, this video presentation, I am using Proxmox to virtualize the hardware that I am installing the new Proxmox environment on. This is not a suggested installation process but it is how I am doing this so I can present you with a video on installing Proxmox. Also, note, we're having hardware problems here at Virtualize Everything. If any of you know how to clean a USB-C port that has had dog shampoo put into it, please let me know. We had a serious mishap on traveling. So, on with our video. We're going to now press enter to select install Proxmox VE. This is the default installation option when Proxmox boots from its USB installation drive. Now, this error message is because we're using Proxmox and the BIOS is not supported virtualizing hardware. If your system gives you this error message, you don't have settings correctly configured in your BIOS or your hardware does not support virtualization. I'm clicking OK, but you, if you're seeing this screen, should go back and check the options in your BIOS for enabling Intel VT or AMD V. Now, this is the end user agreement provided to you from Proxmox. Be sure to thoroughly read this end user agreement and click Agree to move on. If you do not agree, you will have to shut down your system and find other virtualization software. Now, here at this screen, we're just going to click Next. But know if you have other installations that you're trying to do, like it's setting up a ZFS RAID, this is where you would do that. I will have a video coming to you shortly on doing that. So now you fill in your country, your time zone, and your keyboard layout, and click Next. Now it's time to enter your password. You will use this often when using Proxmox, so make sure you remember it. Your email address should be entered here to receive email notifications if you so choose. There will be other steps in configuring this so it works later if you choose. I'm going to enter none at none.com in order to move through this screen without getting an error message. Now, we can enter our system name here. If we would like, I'm calling mine VE. It will work with the default of PVE, but it's always nice to name your server. And the IP address that you would like your server to be communicated with on. Now we can press Next. Check the screen to make sure all your options are correctly configured, and now we can press Install. This installation process can take between 5 and 60 minutes, depending on the complexity of your installation and the hardware that you're installing on. Proxmox is a very light operating system, and it usually moves rather quickly. But no, that it may take a few minutes.
Now, your system will reboot. So now that Proxmox has booted, we can head over to our web interface. To do this, we're going to type HTTPS colon slash slash the IP address of our server and then a colon and port 8006. Now hitting enter will be presented with this screen. I'm using Brave. These workflows may differ if you're using Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Internet Explorer, but they all should present you with some form of error message at this point. We can click Advanced and then click Proceed for Brave. Now this is your web interface. To log in, the username will be root and the password will be the password that you configured in your installation process. Now, we know that we do not have a subscription and we will not receive updates from Proxmox. We can click OK here. In a later video, I will show you how to use the Proxmox web interface and the new feature inside of Proxmox 7 to add repositories using the web interface. Please like, share, and subscribe as well as click the bell icon so you can receive notifications like that of our upcoming video on using these features for updating Proxmox without a subscription. As always, have a good night.